Terry and I are going to speak about the youth package that the European Commission has presented. Uh, and um, I want to start first by saying it's very important they have tackled the issue. After all, there are more than 7.5 million young people throughout Europe not in employment, not in education or training. And it's particularly people who are early school leavers that find it hard to get into the employment system. And it's obviously a need to change that. Now, there are good ideas in the uh, communication from the Commission, but I would also say it falls short. They talk about the idea of a youth guarantee. Originally, this was proposed from the Green side. And it's, of course, uh, nice they take it up but then they don't underpin it really with anything practical. They cut, kind of just pass on the ball to the member states and say, look, we advise the member states to do a youth guarantee. How would the member states be able to do that? That seems not to be a concern for the commission. This is not really what we would expect of them. So there's also some criticism, I think. And we especially also think as FYG that one of the problems is that the Commission hasn't put enough pressure on the member states, maybe also in the budget negotiations that have just been going on, to bring up this issue of youth and youth employment as one that the EU really has to work on and um, has to really implement also the measures that they are now proposing and not, as Reinhard says, to just pass the ball to the member states. And secondly, we really believe that the issue of youth participation within the whole negotiation process should be strengthened even more um, with regards to the Commission, but also, for example, with the initiative that is just coming from the European Parliament to lower the voting age to 16, because we really believe that young people should have a say in this process and that they should be more involved, uh, because it's basically what we are talking about is their future. So, to end, I would say there are uh, things to be followed up on, like the Alliance for Apprenticeship. I think that's a very good initiative. I also think it's good that the member states should tackle the youth issues in, uh, in the context of the European semester. We as Greens will definitely follow up on that and make that an issue in all the member states where we have a say. Uh, but then Broader issues should also be um, tackled, uh, like uh, what do we really do to reduce the number of early school leavers? Uh, th this is a real great issue. And second, uh, the whole taxation scheme somehow, uh, I mean, this is, this is one of the framing conditions for youth unemployment that the uh, taxes on labor are so high where the, while the taxes on uh, CO2 or the taxes on uh, emissions are relatively low. So I would think that if you really want to tackle the issue of unemployment and particularly youth unemployment from a strategic point of view, you would also have to address the issues of having a, a taxation system that is more inducive to promoting employment and not promoting unemployment. And that's why we as FYG, together with the European Green Party, are going to work more on the issue uh, of youth employment and youth emancipation in the future. And we are hoping to come up with really good proposals. Okay, that was our message. Thank you.